Hello everyone! In this video I would like to test the DC fast charging session that I can make using my car Volkswagen e uh, The challenge here is to see how much DC fast charging cycles can I do for, uh, for uh, one day. Uh, I'm starting the car with uh, very low temperature on the battery. You can see here that the battery is 3 degrees centigrade. So uh, I have left the car over the night outside to cool down the battery. And now with the cold battery, I will try to uh, do as much DC fast charging session as I can. Uh, the limit is uh, whenever the battery goes around 40 degrees centigrade, then I will stop because uh, in the next charging session, it will surely uh, rapid gate. So let's uh, start and do the test. charger and show you the stats I have plugged the car to the charger I arrived with around uh, I arrived at 11% now I think it's 18% for this 30 minutes that I'm here uh, the average consumption is 17.1 kilowatt hour in uh, 100 kilometers uh, travel time 1 hour and 30 minutes for now what else what average speed is 90 kilometers per hour what else this is i have traveled 134 kilometers in the winter conditions you can expect much higher consumption than in the summer uh, and that's it now let's check the batteries you can see that i am currently charging with around 93 amps the battery temperature is 14.5 kilowatt uh sorry 14.5 degrees centigrade so i expect it to rise around seven to eight uh, degree uh, while I'm charging here. I will charge the car at around 8%. And I will go to the next charger, which is in city of Stara Zagora, which is 90 kilometers from here. I think I'm ready. So you can see that uh, I have managed to deliver to the car 20 kilowatts per 50 minutes. So charging speed is around 22, 24. 5 kilowatt hours, kilowatt per hour. So I'll stop here and continue the next stop. This will be my second stop on the Kaufland charging station. I see Renault Zoe here, which is charging. I think it's not a problem because it charged with uh, AC. So uh, I will park the car and show you the stats. So I have put the car uh, on the charging station. Let me show you the stats. Currently average consumption is 17.1 kilowatt hours for 100 kilometers. Uh, travel time 2 hours and 50 minutes average speed is uh, 82 kilometers per hour uh, i have passed 232 kilometers and i think that's it so now let's check the the battery the uh, battery temperature and charging speed you can see that i'm charging currently with around 
30 kilowatts and the battery temperature is 27 degree so it is rising i think after i charge here for around 90 percent the battery temperature will be 35 36 degrees centigrade uh, so i will check this to see what's the temperature uh, and when i charge the car to around 90 percent i will go to my uh next stop which is 170 kilometers from here that's why i will charge the car uh almost to the top i'm all, almost ready with the charging you can see that i have managed to charge 23 kilowatts per for one hour and uh, 13 minutes 14 minutes the average charging speed was around 20 kilowatt per, per uh, one hour so let's go inside and check what's the, the status of the battery you can see that the battery temperature rise around 35 degrees centigrade uh, and currently is charging around uh, what 5 kilowatt per hour so i think i will uh, leave now and i'll go to the next charging st station i hope that this 35 degree will decrease to around 30 but i doubt it uh, and if this temperature uh, increase continues, uh, I will not be able to make the, the whole trip. So let's go to the uh, third fast, DC fast charging station and see what will be the uh, charging speed there. Here on the cow front will be my next stop to charge the car. I barely make it to here because if you can see I have four more kilometers to go and I hit turtle mode some time ago but I make it so I will charge the car here and show you the stats. So I put the car to the charging station it is charging now let's check the stats. 16.1 kilowatt uh, hour per, per 100 kilometers this is due because uh, at the end i was just it doesn't it doesn't have any uh, more power and i was driving very slowly to come here to the charging station uh travel time five hours what else average speed speed 81 kilometers per hour this is because again of uh, the last miles it was i was driving very slow Distance passed 400 kilometers, 405 kilometers. Uh, so now let's check the the battery from the, the the information from the battery. You can see that it's charging with around 116 amps, which is around 32, 33 kilowatts per hour. The battery temperature decreased actually two degree. Now it's 33, 33 degree centigrade. Uh, I will charge her car here for around 8% and then we will see what will be the battery temperature. If it increase with uh, to about 40 degrees centigrade, uh, I will stop the test because uh, it doesn't make sense to continue. Uh, at 40 degree, uh, the battery starts rapid gating and you can see my video about that. I will put in the video description that uh, at that temperature, uh, it doesn't make sense to uh, charge anymore uh, with DC fast charging. It makes sense to uh, slow charge it, to uh, give some time to the battery to uh, cool down and uh, relax, and then uh, continue with the charging stations. So let's get back when uh, the battery percentage increased to around 80%. The car is charged around 70%. But you can see from the OBD11 that the battery temperature is 32.5 degrees centigrade and the limit of the current of the current is 61 amps. 
which means that the uh, the limit of the charging power is around 20 kilowatts. Even though if I continue with the test, I'm sure that the next charging session, the car will rapid gate in this uh, temperature. Uh, although it can drop around two or three degrees, uh, it will be too high to start a full charging cycle without the rapid gating. So I think it's safety, safely to do three charging, DC fast charging cycles before the car starting to rapid gate. Uh, if you want to know more about how a car rapid gates, you can check my video. I will put it into the video descriptions. Uh, into, in around this temperature, the charging will be very slow. Uh, I think I charged my car on the DC fast charging uh, for six, for five or six hours, which is very slow. Okay, that's it. Conclusion, three uh, DC fast charging cycles in uh, a cold weather. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.